Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video, I am going to be going through my blushes, decluttering hopefully, and reorganizing them. A few videos ago, I did a makeup inventory and blush was a pretty big category. There were a lot of numbers in there and although I have a real love for blushes, I just don't think I need this many. So I'm going to pull them all up on my desk here and we can go through them together. Okay, this is everything, all my babies. <laughs> all right, so we've got creams and we've got powders. Let's start with the powders because I feel like I'm gonna really struggle to part with my creams. <laughs> all right, I've got two blushes here by Essence. This packaging is so manky and it's broken, but it's just such a beautiful shade. And these Essence blushes are beautiful. Oh, look at that. Nasty. <laughs> this is a newer one I picked up. This one's a bit more of a dusty pink. If I had to choose, I think I would like to keep this one. So I'm going to put this one into the maybe pile. I do really like the shade, but like it's manky, okay? So maybe. Okay, here's a blush I can definitely get rid of. It's the OXX Studio Powder Blush. It's a really nice shade, but it is so shimmery. I can't even remember what the formula's like. It's probably not that good to be honest, but she can go, she can go. I can part with her. This Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Coral, I think it is. Oh my God. One of my favorites. I actually used up a whole one of these. It's a beautiful shade and it has a slight sheen to it, which just adds such a beautiful glow to the skin. You're staying. Here we have two of the Milani Baked Blushes. This is the Classic Luminoso and this one is Berry Amour. I want to keep this one because it's just a classic, all right? This one here I'm considering parting with, but I'm going to see if I have any other blushes in my collection that are this shade because it is a bit deeper than the other blushes that I have. And what I love about this formula is that they also have the same kind of sheen as the Maybelline. So it's very pretty. Next, I have a mini of the Balm Hot Mama blush. Okay, okay. This also has a sheen. And is it a similar shade to this one? They look pretty similar to me. So maybe I can get rid of this and I'll keep this one because it's newer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Cheek in the shade Love Glow. Oh my God, so beautiful. It has that nice sheen finish, which I really love in a blush because it just makes your skin look glowy and healthy. I love it. This is definitely staying. Okay, one that I can probably get rid of. This is by Designer Brands. It's the Make'em Blush in the shade Rose Glow. It is just way too shimmery. Like I think they were going for that sheen vibe, but it's just straight up shimmer. So next I have these two blushes by Too Faced and these are also very old and they go way back. They just remind me of when I first got into makeup. Oh my God. Oh, I don't think I can get rid of these because they're kind of nostalgic. This shade here is so beautiful. Look, if I was gonna get rid of one, it probably would be this. I'm not that into peach blushes. Oh my God, these have the most beautiful sheen. <gasps> Stunning, but it's very peachy. Okay, look. I might get rid of this one. This one is not going anywhere. It is the MAC Glow Play Blush in Cheer Up. I love a bright pink blush. This packaging is super cute as well. And it's quite an interesting formula. It's like a cream to powder, I believe. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Absolutely beautiful. I would like to get some more of these actually because the shade range is just... <laughs> Stunning. This is the Silky Powder Ombre Blush by Focalore. I really haven't dipped into this and I don't really have an interest, so I think I might get rid of it. And then the last powder blush that I have is the Rimmel Maxi Blush, and this is in the shade Exposed. This one's quite new to my collection and I'm actually enjoying these 
deeper kind of shades. This one is a matte finish. It's quite new to my collection, so I think I'm going to keep this one for a bit. So if I take a look at the powders that I'm keeping, I've got my Luminoso, the MAC, the Balm Hot Mama, the Essence, Charlotte Tilbury, Maybelline, and the Rimmel. I did pretty well. I got rid of one, two, hey, yay, yay, no, you're in the stay pile. That was close. One, two, three, four, five. And should I get rid of the essence? No, you know what? I really like it. And I feel like I did pretty well at getting rid of these. So I deserve to keep that. All right, now for the creams. I really can't guarantee I'm gonna get rid of any of these. <laughs> Okay, okay. Game face, Tanika. All right, let's start with the e.l.f. putty blushes. I have two shades here. This one is called, where is it? It's like somewhere really tiny. I'm pretty sure, oh, there it is. Yeah, this one is Bora Bora and I love this bright pink. So she ain't going anywhere. This shade is Turks and Caicos and I, look, I can probably declutter this. Look, I'm gonna put this into the maybe pile because this shade isn't one I really reach for. I much prefer the pink. Okay, okay, maybe I can do this, you know? Oh, look, this blush is pretty much empty. What's it doing in here? This is the Savvy Cheek and Lip Color and it is in the shade Sleek Rose. They don't actually make this anymore, so I probably <laughs> thought I was gonna use up <laughs> that. Oh. This would go in my makeup hall of fame. It is just, oh, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. They did then release these ones here. They're a highlighter and blush duo, but they didn't have the same shade Sleek Rose. So I've got this one, Plum and Glow, which has a hair stuck to it, disgusting. Let me just quickly remove that. They're just brush hairs though, so you know. No need to be concerned. So anyway, we've got Plum and Glow, and this one is Rose and Shine. Ooh, I really love both of them. I'm gonna keep them both. The highlighter shades I think are exactly the same, but yeah, I'm gonna keep them both. I like them both, I just, just I don't have to justify myself, okay? But I will get rid of this. <laughs> Acting like as if this is an achievement, I'm getting rid of it. It's literally empty. It's empty. All right, next we have these Cheek Dew blushes by ColourPop and they do separate very easily. Now, okay, okay, I think I might be able to get rid of one of these. They are so sheer, like the formula is crazy sheer. This shade is beautiful. I really thought I would prefer this one, but it's so sheer that it barely shows up and they give a lot of dew, like you, your cheeks are glowing. So I don't really like this shade because I get the glowy look, but there's no pigment. And like, I need the pigment, okay? So maybe I will get rid of this one. It's a real shame because it's a beautiful color, but they just sheer out like so much. This one is Hotline. I'll pass that on. And the one I'm keeping is All right, this Kmart OXX Creamy Blush. I've got a love-hate relationship with it, okay? First of all, it's been broken ever since I got it. And would you look at that? There's another hair. <laughs> Let's carefully dissect that off. Um, this blush sucks if you put it over makeup, but if you put it just on your skin, oh, it's lovely. So I have been wearing this to work a lot because I'm not putting on foundation and I just want a little bit of color to my cheeks. I'm going to keep that. Okay, some blushes that I'm definitely going to be keeping. The Fenty Beauty Cream Blush. Oh my God. This is in the shade Strawberry Drip and it is just like one of my favorites. I wore this blush on my wedding day. It looks super bright, but it does sheer out. It's got a matte finish. It's super long lasting. And if you're after a more affordable dupe, the e.l.f. blush is quite similar. Like they look pretty similar once they're on the skin, but this formula is just amazing. Would definitely buy more. Here I have the Emco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tints. We've got Dusk Tango and Rose Glow. I love this shade. I'm actually wearing it today. Rose Glow is quite new to my collection and it's a very nice pink. 
I think I could probably get rid of Tango. I'm just not that into these kind of tones. So I think this one can go. You know, I've got three, that's enough. God, I just, <laughs> look at me go. This Mecca Cosmetica blush and highlighter duo. Oh my God, a must have. This is not going anywhere. Again, we've got a nice bright pink. And this cream, it's just different. It's more glossy. It gives a very, yeah, just glossy look to the skin. Oh my God, it is stunning. And then when you put the highlighter on top, oh, your skin just looks so radiant. Next, I have a variety of the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. Now, these two shades here were the first two released in Australia, and they have a very sheer and dewy finish. These two shades come a bit later, and they are super pigmented and not as glowy as these two. I just don't get it. Now, I do love both of these shades. I've been really into like the darker blushes lately. This shade Melon has that kind of tone I'm not like super into. I think I need to test that out again. And then this shade Bubbly is just like a classic. It's a really beautiful baby pink. And Pinched is kind of, I don't know, a bit of an odd shade. It's very, very skin tone like. I don't know, I think I might try out these two shades again and then I'll decide if I'm going to keep them, but I'll definitely keep Bitten and Bubbly. Next we have the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand and this is in the shade Pinkgasm. And I have the Emco Beauty Dupe, and this is in the shade Peach Glow. Now, I wasn't like a huge fan of the Charlotte Tilbury one. I thought it was too shimmery, but I think I was just using way too much and like in the wrong spots. Yeah, when I used the Emco one, I had a totally different experience. And although it is just as shimmery, it just looked better on the skin. Maybe it's the shades, I don't know. I might have to dip into the Charlotte Tilbury again. I don't wanna commit to getting rid of it because like it's Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> but I'll definitely keep the Emco. I'm definitely gonna keep this, but I do wanna try it again. This Tower 28 blush is quite new to my collection and it was a bit, I don't know. First of all, the color is not what I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be more of a muted pink, but it's kind of like that bright peach that I don't really love. It's a very nice formula. It's got that balm finish, but it wore really quickly. Like within an hour, probably even less, it had faded on my skin. So I might have to try that one again before I commit to letting it go because it's new to my collection and it was like 30 bucks. And then lastly, we've got the Maybelline Cheek Heat. This is in the shade Rose Flush, the Milani Cheek Kiss in Rose Romance, and the NYX Sweet Cheeks, and this is in the shade Baby Doll. This formula is quite different. It's moussey and it dries down very matte, super, super pigmented. You only need a little bit. They actually have a shade that I really wanna try. It's more like a muted, like dusky pink. It's so beautiful. I am going to keep this though because I don't really have another shade quite like that. This Milani, I also don't have a shade quite like that. And from memory, it is a nice formula. And then the Maybelline Cheek Heat. I haven't used this in a while, but I really like this shade. I think I might test that one out again before I completely make my decision. Okay, so for blushes, this is what I'm definitely keeping. I am definitely getting rid of the empty one <laughs> and these two. And then all of these blushes, I do want to test out again before I make my final decision. I do have this container here with products from my last declutter that I am testing out and then deciding if I'm going to keep them or not. So I will add the blushes into here. So out of the 38 blushes that I had, I am definitely keeping 23. I am very happy with this little collection right here. Look at all my babies. All right, well, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching it, please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I will link in the description box my makeup inventory and I did a foundation declutter as well. If you're after more content, you can come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. Otherwise, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.